is come up with an interface that's basically similar to or the same actually with obviously not showing the right airports but with the original airports <laughs> What's going on? It's typical tech lad. So in today's video, I've got these Pro 200 headphones that I bought on Amazon for literally eight pounds. And I think that was because of Black Friday, but the original price was like 9.88, something like that. So less than 10 pounds. As you can see, they're gonna be replicating the AirPods by the looks of it, generation three ones. So in this video, we're just gonna do a quick unboxing to see what we get inside the packaging. So let's get this handy little kitchen knife Ooh. more damage to the table than anything else right so the packaging is just I mean fairly simple it's got some markers on the back supposedly got a hundred dollar Amazon gift card talking about leaving a review. First things the instructions for use which we'll it's just literally one piece of paper we'll get into and that's how it comes packaged with the headphones outside of the case. It looks like they've given a lightning to USB cable. I mean you can just tell this is just like some cheap packaging isn't it? Crushed from one side. Let's get these out. Let's get the case out itself. I'm assuming this is just some technical data. It looks like this all in Chinese. Nope, it's got English on one side. Operation steps and stuff. So this is the case itself. I mean, it's quite small. Wasn't expecting it to be this small. It's got some sort of protective plastic on it as well, which seems to be why is everything so hard? And the case isn't too bad to be honest. It's a nice little snap, it's not as satisfying as original airpods it does the job right so let's have a look at the headphones themselves it looks like well there's the first indicator with the flashing light uh, i don't know what that means at the moment but we'll see look at the instructions and let's get a little close-up of them it's quite light and yes, they are replicas of the third generation AirPods. So what I'm gonna be doing is connecting them up to my phone and then we'll uh, see what they're like connectivity wise. And then eventually I'm gonna, well, just gonna start using them for a few days just to get an idea of how they perform, battery life, uh, audio quality, obviously, mic quality, all these tidbits. And then eventually come and do a video on those and see how it will win. So if we just put them into the case, see there's like a light that comes on at the bottom and there's a red light, which I'm assuming means that they are charging. We have a white light on the front. I'm assuming that's the pairing button. Lightning connector, interesting. I'll pair them up with my phone and then we'll see what it's like. All right, let's just see what the connectivity itself is like. So if we flip open the lid, anything will happen? Nope. Take the headphone itself out. It's gonna okay now we got something. So if I press connect. It's come up with an interface that's basically similar to or the same actually with Obviously not showing the right airports, but with the original airports. Press continue. Saying it is connected. Oh, so far so good, I guess, with the connecting. I will do a thorough review on them and go over all the points that I mentioned earlier. We'll see what they like and whether they actually can live up to actual airports. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.